I got this crazy New Zealander who keeps on asking me, do a show about the Woods Ball Manifesto. Come on, talk about the Woods Ball Manifesto. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I, oh, that's right, I can't link from here to there. Uh, but I'll put links down in wherever the sidebar happens to be right now so that you can check out the Woods Ball Manifesto where I originally posted it. But much like FPS 5 was, I really don't think there's anything else that I can really talk about it because it's, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, and it still has that same twist the knife feel. And it's been copied and pasted almost, onto almost every single paintball forum on the planet. It's been uh, translated once or twice. I know there's at least one video of somebody doing a dramatic reading of it while having video of him and his buddies playing out in the woods. And I wish I could tell you that there's like a, a whole background and a whole meaning to it. There really isn't. If you, if you want to know the catalyst for it, ironically enough, it was a big game. Yeah, back in 2005, I went to this big game out in New York, and the field was pretty cool. The people I hung out with were, really, were incredibly cool, but the problem was that there was a very visible block of players. I can still remember this. We were making this big flanking move through the woods area, and I see a bunch of guys standing in the middle of the field. They got their goggles on top of their forehead. They're wearing the latest and greatest attorney gear, and they're sitting there smoking cigarettes. And when I say to them, hey guys, you might want to put your goggles down, like two of the guys flipped me off. And then there was the fight, and I didn't really get a good view of the fight, but what I did see was that one guy threw his gun down and just threw a right and knocked the other guy's goggles off, and then they both go to the ground, just fists flying everywhere. The cops got called, one guy got hauled off to jail that night. But just about every case, every single person that I saw that had that level of jackassery, they were wearing tourney gear. So I came back from that event absolutely just fuming. Now, mind you, this had been sitting in the back of my brain for years. This whole concept of what I wanted to write had just been sitting there. And it was just waiting. It was looking for a hook. And this game gave me that hook. I wish I could tell you there was more to it than that, but there's not. I mean, it's pretty laid out right there. But what gets me is that after how many years, like what, 60 years now, it still has the twist the knife to it. After all this time, it's still relevant. And after all this time, people are still reposting it, putting it all over the place, and the people are still debating it, and they're saying the same basic things they've always been saying. Oh, how could you call it a manifesto? It's not a manifesto. Oh, yes. Yes, it is manifesto. It's very much a political document, and don't don't try to mistake it for anything else. Oh, well, me and my crew, we don't play like that. You know, we might play tournaments, but we're not like that at all. Oh, well, you know what? So is every other person on the internet. What you do and what you say you do are usually two completely different things. But overall, what gets me is how many people actually still agree with it. And that leads me to one conclusion. That's been the, over the six years that that's, this thing's been out there, nothing has changed. So, make of it what you will. I forget who said the quote, and I don't even remember the quote exactly, but it goes along the lines of when you create art and you let it go in the world, it, it suddenly has a life of its own. It's, it's out of your hands, and it's now in the hands of everybody else. And that's kind of where the manifesto is right So now. whatever intent I originally had to it, well, it's kind of important to keep that in mind, but what's more important to keep in mind is what you make of it and what you do with it. And as hokey and cheesy as that sounds, that's the way life works.